Greetings to you, my dear friend. I hope all is well with you and with your family wherever you are. The Bible tells us in Mark chapter 12, reading from verse 28, And one of the scribes came, and having heard them reasoning together, and perceiving that he answered them well, asked him, Which is the first commandment of all? And Jesus answered him, The first of all the commandments is, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord, and thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, and with all thy soul, and with all thy mind, and with all thy strength. This is the first commandment. And the second is like, namely this, Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. There is none other commandment greater than these. Now the word for first, when the scribe said, which is the first commandment of all, the word for first is protos in the Greek, which means first in order of importance. Let me say that again. It is first in time, place, or in order of importance. The word for second in verse 31, and the second is like namely this, that Greek word is deuteros, which is second in rank or time or place, meaning the Ten Commandments are divided into two sections, the first four and the next six. Jesus acknowledges that the first four commandments are higher than the next six. But let me say quickly, they are all extremely high. They all express righteousness. They are all perfect. But Christ says, of the two tables, the higher is the first four, the commandments that express direct duty to God. The Sabbath commandment, the fourth commandment, is found on the table that expresses direct duty to God. Therefore, when someone disregards the Sabbath, when someone teaches that the Sabbath is no longer in force, that teacher is denying people the knowledge of one aspect of showing direct duty and love for God. It is a crime against humanity to blind the people to the fact that one way to express direct duty to God as required by the first table of the law is the Sabbath commandment. My listening friend, this is a very serious matter. The Sabbath commandment is on the table that expresses our duty, our love for God directly. And to disregard that commandment is to disregard our duty, our love, our faithfulness to God. Let me say to disregard it deliberately and knowingly. In times of ignorance, God overlooks. But when someone knows the seventh day is the Sabbath and disregards it, that person is ignoring his or her duty to God. The seventh day is the Sabbath and God deliberately placed it on the first of the two tables. The table that shows, expresses and reveals our direct duty and our unmixed love for God. My listening friend, as you keep the Sabbath holy, remember of the Ten Commandments, the first four, according to Christ, are higher than the next six. The Sabbath commandment is among the four that are higher than the next six. May the Lord bless you, guide you, doubly bless your children and protect them as you in humble obedience to your Savior choose to honor Him to show your duty to him by keeping that commandment, which is on the first table, the commandment that says, remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Happy Sabbath and God bless you.